I really think that it was a miracle. What we are looking at in this patient is approaching cancer as a metabolic disorder. Dr. Robert Nagorny is an oncologist and cancer researcher. He's desperate to improve the odds for patients who've come to him after all else has failed. His work is incredible. Monique Borghese, who traveled to Long Beach from Brazil, is one of those patients. Almost four years ago, she was diagnosed with a large tumor near her kidney called an adrenocortical carcinoma. This is a very aggressive and rare tumor. By the time Monique met Dr. Nagorny, she'd already had surgery and chemotherapy, but the cancer had come back and was growing in her lung. Basically a death sentence. Just 26 years old, Monique was withering away. And I wasn't sure she was treatable. To learn more about Monique's cancer, Dr. Nagorny needed a piece of her tumor. That meant surgery. Once the sample arrived in the lab, it was chopped up into dozens of tiny samples. Those samples were then treated with a variety of drugs. Iressa, Sutent, Nexavar. To see which, if any, could kill her cancer cells in the lab. Some of Monique's tumor cells were treated with the harshest cancer killers on the market. Cisplatin and Taxol didn't work. Others were treated with drugs far milder. The drug that killed Monique's cancer, better than anything, turned out not to be a cancer drug at all, but rather a common diabetes drug called metformin. These drugs don't know what diseases they were invented for. Three months after starting metformin in 2015, Monique got a CAT scan. Her doctor in Brazil gave her the news. While her post-chemo hair was growing back, her lung tumors were shrinking. It was a miracle. Between their in-person visits, Monique and Dr. Nagurney have stayed in touch via Skype. You're still taking metformin, yes? Yes. And your life is normal? Yes, normal. I breathe perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Why even try a diabetes drug on Monique's cancer? What metformin is and does is a energy drug. It doesn't stop cells from dividing. It influences their ability to make and use energy. Once we stop that, her cancers died. Last month, Monique returned to Long Beach for a three-year check-in. What's this hair you grew? Yes. <laughs> three years after starting metformin, the drug is still working. And four years after being told she was terminal? I'm here, I'm fine, and I'm so thankful. I don't know that I've cured Monique, but I know that Monique is well and alive. I love my life. I love to live. I want to live a lot, a lot of <laughs> years, many years. Dr. Nagurney is now investigating what Monique's experience could mean for other patients. Going after cancer cells at the level of metabolism, at the level that they make and use energy, is a fundamental change in our thinking. That's a victory in and of itself.